Hi class, today's video, we are going over 2.01 music theory and pitch specifically and talking about how, what pitch is. So today you're gonna to be learning about pitch to be able to read some simple music. And you'll know you've got it if you can identify note names on the treble clef. And so can you identify note, music note pitches that are on the staff? So refresher from my last video, frequency versus amplitude. Remember, amplitude is the how high it is, and this is the loudness, the dynamics, whereas frequency goes this way, and that is the, um, that's the pitch, the how um, high or low the pitch is. Remember, the closer together the waves, the higher the pitch, further apart, the lower the pitch higher the waves, the louder it is, shorter the waves, quieter it is. So this is our musical staff and it consists of five lines and four spaces. So one thing that I would you can do that I want everybody to do with me on your end as well, and you're gonna feel silly and it's okay. I want you to take your hand and this is your magical, wonderful hand staff. And you have one, two, three, four, five lines. And if you go in between, you've got one, two, three, four spaces. So if you ever forget how many lines and spaces are on a staff, just pull out your lovely hand staff and count them. So one, two, three, four, five lines on the staff and one, two, three, four spaces. Now notice I count from the bottom up and that is how you're going to count them in a musical staff as well. You're gonna count them from the bottom going up. So Remember that fun little fact, bottom up. So letter names, we use the musical alphabet to write, to name our pitches. And we use the letters A through G. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And they just repeat on and on and on to infinity and beyond. And the clef tells you where to start. The clef tells you what letter name to start on. For the treble clef, the bottom line, line one, so line one right here, that's letter E. And you can do your alphabet all the way up to figure out where what every line and space is. So E, the next letter of the alphabet would be F, and so that's space. The next line would be G, and we start over. So the space is A, the line is B, space is C, line is D, space is E, line is F. And you can just keep going following your alphabet. Bass clef, same concept, but the bottom line starts with G, and you can just use your alphabet and kind of count your way up. Ledger lines are this lovely, wonderful thing where music can go on and on forever. It's like putting like a little space, spacer up, and you can put little lines, little ledger lines all the way up and down to infinity and beyond to add imaginary lines and spaces to your staff. So how do we know what goes where? Well, what you see right here, this is the grand staff, when you have the treble and the bass clef staff stacked on top of each other. So the treble is the really swirly curly Q one, the bass clef is the one that looks like half of a heart. And you also have one singular ledger line right in the middle of the grand staff. That ledger line is always letter C. Specifically, we call it middle C. And when you're looking at a piano keyboard, it is also the centermost piano key note. So it's, it is middle C, it's right in the center. And you can use that to count and figure out where everything is. So I'm gonna go into this PowerPoint mode and I'm gonna do some drawing so that you can see exactly what I mean. So this right here, that's letter C, and I can go up C, E is on that, is, D is on the space below the staff, but I can also do another note right here. B is the space above the bass clef staff, and you can just keep going on and on forever. So how do you remember that? How do you know, how do you remember that? Well, there's some lovely little sayings to help us remember this. For the treble clef, for the lines, you can remember that every good 
boy does fine. The bottom line will, line will always be E, B, every good boy does fine. E, G, B, D, F. And the treble clef spaces spell the word face, F, A, C, E. So I have a little rap we're gonna learn for the treble clef. And it's super cheesy and that's okay. E, G, B, D, F. E, G, B, D, F. These are the lines of the treble clef. F, A, C, E. F, A, C, E. That's how easy it can be. E. So yeah, the, you can. there's a way to remember it. As long as you remember though, that the bottom line is E of the treble clef, you can use your alphabet to figure everything else out. Remember the last note is G. So after G, you repeat back to letter A. And this is how it looks like on the staff. So E, G, B, D, F, just the lines, or F, A, C, E is the lines or the spaces. So bass clef, similar concept. We have good boys do fine always for the lines, and the spaces are all cows eat grass. I don't have a fancy rap for that one. Sorry, guys. This is how they line up matching our piano keyboard and with our grand staff. Remember, the C is typically right in the center. The bass clef represents lower pitches, treble clef representing higher pitches. But once again, it can extend for forever, both above and below those two staffs. Now you notice in the last picture, none of those notes corresponded to the black keys. So the black keys, this is where our sharps and flats come in. And we'll talk more about that once we get into key signatures. But these help to make scales. So musical scales are the patterns in which music is formed. We'll get more into that in a couple more videos. But this is how all those notes play out. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Make sure that you're coming to live class and make sure you're watching this video before coming to live class. Bye guys.